In this section, I'm talking about email templates and HoneyBook. This is part of our larger course, How to Use HoneyBook, which is this whole playlist. So just check it out. It's totally free. And if you decide to invest in HoneyBook, use the link in the description or code Lainey for up to 50% off. Email templates are one of my favorite simple, quick wins with HoneyBook. It's an easy way to start seeing the magic and start taking things off your plate. So we went up to tools and my templates, and now we are clicking on emails and you can see there's a full template gallery. If you want to check some things out, you can create a new one, but I'm going to show you, these are some of the ones that are already in here. And this welcome to the family one is one that I created. So it's really easy when you go to create a new one, you'll just, you can name it up here, select the subject that you want, and then you can just type out your email. In this email, I have used a few different things. So welcome to the family. We're so excited to work on your invitations. In the next day or two, you'll receive this. Here's a few resources you can use to get started. And then these can be linked. You can use a link down here. Um, you can do change your email signature. You can add an attachment. You can edit the text. There's so many things you can do down here. Um, but we would link this to like a blog post or a helpful resource for them. So this allows me to preempt some questions that they might have so I don't have to answer them. It allows me to provide value to them and just show them that kind of upfront, I'm a professional, I've done this, here's this awesome stuff for you. What I love about something like this is it's a touch point that you may not have been able to have when it was just you manually doing this. You may not have time to fill this out, send it to everyone. You may not remember to send it to everyone, but when it's a template here in Dubsado, it makes it so much easier because it's one or two clicks and done. And something that's really cool is that you can personalize these things without actually spending time personalizing them. So this blue field right here is called a smart field and those are accessible down here, insert smart field. And there's project ones about the project. There's client ones about the client. So like client first name. So whenever I apply this to a project, it's going to pull the client first name from that project. So it's a way to make this feel personalized to the client, but it won't actually be personalized <laughs> to them. And it's not something that you have to spend time typing in their name or remembering, you know, who's in charge, what the date is, whatever it is. So there's all these different smart fields you can use. And I absolutely love these for giving a customized approach without actually spending time customizing. Once this is ready to go, you can add it to a project by just going into your projects tab. We'll go into Amy and Jake's wedding invitations. Then on this activity tab, we'll click send to Jake and Amy. Now our welcome to the family is already in here. If for some reason it wasn't, you can just click on these templates and select what you want. So we'll select a different one, this brochure one, and then we'll go back to the welcome to the family just to show you what that looks like. And you see it pulled in Jake's name because he was the first client on the job. You could switch that up if you want. Um, and then we could go ahead and send it directly to them or make any changes. Once you add it onto this job, you're only making changes on this project. You're not making changes to the template. Um, so that's a way that you can further customize it. So as you can see, there's a lot of different ways to use email templates. And when you get to the last video in this course and map out your process flow, it will be really easy to see where those are. But in general, these are things that questions you're answering all the time, questions you wish you didn't have to answer, um, things that clients are often confused about, anywhere you think a helpful resource would be helpful anytime where you feel like they don't understand what's happening next or there's a large lull. So maybe, hey, thanks for signing the contract. We won't start your invitations for another three or four months, um, but I'll check in then and here's what we're doing in the meantime. Just so that they feel like, okay, they got the thing, they got the payment, they got the signature, and we know what's happening moving forward as the client. So this is a great way to add some of those customer service touches that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. So I love to do like a thank you that comes after the wedding and I ask for reviews. I ask for photos from their wedding for my portfolio um, and I make sure that they're doing okay and there isn't anything outstanding. So lots of examples of how you can use this and I think you can adapt it to your business in a lot of different ways. Now down here is where you'll edit your email signatures. You can have a lot of different ones, but of course you'll always have a default one and I'm, I'm a one signature kind of gal personally, but you might have multiple <laughs> depending on your business. And then you can choose which signature is used in each email template. So you can set up templates for different signatures. Two other quick things about email that I have further videos on. I'm not going to delve as deep into them in this course. The first is that you can actually use HoneyBook for batch emailing. So I wouldn't use it fully as your like email list 
kind of system. But if you do have like a yearly newsletter or you have mini sessions coming out or some Christmas product or something that you think would be exciting to other contacts that are added in HoneyBook, you can send out a batch email to them. Again, I have a further video on this. And then another one that you should definitely check out is their Chrome extension. So this works if you typically use Chrome and also if you have Gmail for your business email. I don't have this, so I did film a video on it where I put it all in together um, into my personal email inbox, but I don't have this, but this is a game changing feature in HoneyBook. Basically, you're bringing HoneyBook into your Gmail inbox. So when someone emails you about working together, it kind of automatically says, hey, do you want to create a project and pulls in some of their information in the same screen as your inbox. Or if you're getting an email from someone that's already in a project in HoneyBook, it'll say, hey, you know, do you want to open that project? So you're really closing a gap and bringing HoneyBook like directly into your Gmail inbox. So if you do use Gmail and use Chrome for your business, 100% recommend getting this Chrome extension. It is game changing. So wonderful. But in general, these email templates are going to be a great, quick, easy win in HoneyBook. And then as we start getting into automations and things, you'll see how these can be used. So in the next section, we're going to set up our service packages and then we'll get into smart files, which is where all of these things start to come together and connect.